Good afternoon. It was seven years ago, October of 2008, when I first set foot on the St. Joseph's campus for the first annual Knights Challenge 5K. It was a blustery 40 degree morning and the spectators were scarce. To get out of the cold, I walked into the gym lobby where I couldn't resist staring at the blue and white walls where photos of athletes hung. Their faces read school pride. And from that moment, I was hooked. The following week, I strove to convince my mother to look into St. Joseph's. There was something about this place that was calling me. Look at me now, a senior, graduating in May with only the fondest of memories and a true sense of accomplishment. My name is Hannah White, and I am a member of the Prince of Peace Parish. I am the president of the Science National Honor Society, a co-captain of the cross-country team, and a member of the track team. During my middle school career, I participated in several clubs, played on the JV soccer team, and swam on the varsity swim team. I like to keep busy. Students at St. Joseph look for ways to be involved, to contribute, to show school pride, to spend time with friends, and to do what they love. St. Joseph, in turn, strives to graduate strong leaders, accomplished students, compassionate citizens, and morally sound young men and women. If you were to ask me seven years ago to define a leader, my response probably would have been someone who tells others what to do. Although that is sometimes the case, I have learned in my years at St. Joseph's that there is more to, in the, more to it than that. I now realize that leaders are those who do not seek recognition, but who will be recognized through the admiration of others. At St. Joseph, leaders evolve. They are not self-proclaimed. Leaders are the students who tutor underclassmen, students who mediate when problems arise, students who show absolute respect for authority and the honor code, students who motivate the less talented, and student athletes who set the example for good sportsmanship regardless of the environment. These are the students who faculty and coaches put into leadership positions. I have had several leadership positions here at St. Joseph's. And if you come to school here, you too will have equal opportunity to become the next team captain, the next class president, the next honor society president, the next club president, the next campus ministry leader, or even founder of your own club. Last year, I started a club with several of my peers called SJ Troops. The mission of the club is to raise money so that desired items can be purchased, packaged, and sent overseas to our military to show our appreciation for all that they do. Even if you have never been in a leadership position, St. Joseph's gives you that opportunity. Opportunities are limitless. For example, my exposure to science at St. Joseph's for all the years that I have been here has caused me to realize my love of the subject, from the labs to the research and to the analysis. St. Joseph's took a required subject and turned it into a passion and a career I wish to pursue. Teachers have an open door policy and are happy to share their enthusiasm with students. During my junior year, I recognized that Ms. Rubel, the freshman biology teacher, might benefit from a lab assistant. This past summer, I took the initiative to present the idea and what my role would be to her. The process did not end there. I then had to put it into writing, have it approved by the academic dean, and follow through. To my delight, the position was approved, and I am now receiving a credit for the class. I am involved in setting up and taking down labs, helping other science teachers, making solutions, and foiling dissection trays. While these tasks may equate to doing the dishes at home for you, I find them fun. My goal in creating this position was to help Ms. Rubel and eventually other science teachers complete tedious tasks that stop them from spending time with students or getting a break in the day. What started as an idea has now been proven successful, and the newly created position may now be available for students who share my similar interests. Now, upon entering high school, my only real goal was to graduate and attend college. Little did I know that geometry would be more than about triangles and tangent lines. Instead, it was about intersecting with the person who would have an impact on the rest of my life. 
Mr. Brady, who refers to us by our last names, shared stories of growing up in a military home and of his son's struggles and successes in applying to the Naval Academy. I am not from a military background. I didn't even know there was such thing as service academies, and I had never considered the military a possible career path. Mr. Brady started a chain reaction for my future. It was the summer after my freshman year that I convinced my family to travel to Washington, D.C. so that I could attend the Naval Academy's cross-country camp. Had it not been for a teacher who was willing to invest his time to answer my questions and continue to inspire me over the past four years to serve our country, I may not have continued this pursuit. This past summer, I attended the Naval Academy Summer Seminar and over fall break, just a few weeks ago, while some of my friends were lying on the warm sandy beaches, I was on a hard metal cot in the barracks at West Point, and I loved it. I have now decided to pursue a career in the military and have applied to the Naval Academy, West Point, ROTC, and NROTC. I have only made it this far because the teachers here have kept me on track academically, have written stellar letters of recommendation, and have put in tireless hours helping me finish the application process. Your career path may not be the same as mine, but the teachers at St. Joseph's will guide you in a way that your career path will become clear. St. Joseph's takes the potential of every individual and pushes it to the maximum. They believe that in the halls of St. Joseph walks the next priest, the next Olympian, the next Nobel Peace Prize winner, the next teacher, the next inventor, the next surgeon, and the next military officer. Unlike a woodpecker that pecks at the same time, at the same location, and for the same duration, the teachers here at St. Joseph find ways to reach each student differently by changing their approach and doing whatever it takes to help them succeed. At times, you will think it's too much, but in the end, you will realize that it was all for you, the student. The teachers at St. Joseph's do not talk down to students. They engage us and welcome opportunities to discuss sports, classes, or anything going on in the world or in our lives. You will find teachers supporting students on the cross country course, in the gym at a girls JV basketball game, or even stopping to talk at the local grocery store. Sometimes it takes until your senior year to realize how critical these teachers are to you and the impressions you leave on them. It is during this year that you suddenly need them to get to the next level. Their letters of recommendation could be the difference between attending the college of your dreams or a substitute. I learned this year that there is not a teacher here that wouldn't take the time to make sure their letter was perfect. Not that I got to read any of them, but I heard they were awesome. I had no idea that for the past seven years, they are paying that close of attention to me, one of 400 students. But they knew me, the student, the leader, the athlete, and they cared enough to make time for me. The teachers here are from so many different backgrounds and careers, and yet they all chose to teach here because they want to bring their real world experiences and share them with students stimulating our minds beyond what we will ever find in a book. And they're good at it. I know that in a public school, each teacher and counselor has an insurmountable amount of responsibility because of the number of students they have to educate and serve. I have heard stories from friends at other schools about their struggles in the college application process because their guidance counselors don't really know them and have others to help. At St. Joseph's, each counselor has around 50 students. You can ask any junior or senior parent here about the number of emails they receive reminding them to stay on top of things. Personally, I go in their office around once a week and am welcome to schedule as many visits as it takes for me to be satisfied that I am on track. Few days have gone by in the last few years when Ms. Rubel has not reminded us that our parents work hard to have us here and that their sacrifices needed to be respected and returned through hard work and dedication. Parents, I want you to know that your kids will appreciate the sacrifices you make to send them here through their academic accomplishments, athletic commitments, and other school involvement. 
You can trust St. Joseph's to challenge, educate, and guide your children. St. Joseph's graduates young men and women who respect authority, appreciate the demands of education, and accept commitment, and realize that they are responsible for the next generation of leaders. They do not look for the easy route. I compare myself now to the person I was in sixth grade. I now appreciate the value of people with high morals and integrity. And I now realize that being popular doesn't always mean you're the best looking, but that you are involved in your community and dedicated to your work. I know St. Joseph's has prepared me to take on the next challenges in my life. And I am ready to serve my country and carry on the St. Joseph's spirit. At St. Joseph's, students don't just sit at desks. They are active participants of every class and are expected to contribute. This expectation transforms the student into a young adult with an added component of courage to face the adult world which awaits us outside this campus. This is my final year. I have competed in my final cross country race and I can say with a happy yet heavy heart that I don't want this phase of my life to end. However, I know that it will and I know that I am ready because I am Hannah White and will forever be a St. Joseph's Knight. Best of luck to you all. Thank you. You did great. Thank you so much. Are you convinced yet?